surface low pressure centers that are kind of embedded in that upper level flow uh, that is really leading to all the unsettled weather across parts of the northern tier of the U.S. Notice the severe weather moving through parts of the Mississippi River Valley with widespread damaging winds across parts of southern middle Tennessee. We have still got uh, just a few lingering snow showers across northern Colorado from Fort Collins north into Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, that is all due to the energy in this upper level flow that's kind of clipping northern Colorado. No widespread accumulations for lower terrain areas expected this evening, uh, but we will have an additional four to six inches for higher terrain locations such as Vail, Breckenridge uh, until about midnight tonight and some additional snow showers for tomorrow. Notice though winds are still gusting about 32 miles per hour at this hour in La Hunta and around Los Animas, uh, where those uh, fires are still uh, burning. Of course, you'll notice that red flag warnings are in effect until 7 p.m. And then again for tomorrow, we'll have another round of red flag warnings, which of course means that high fire danger. You'll notice right around those two uh, spots that we've been following very carefully, a good 38 to 40 mile an hour wind uh, still blowing in that region. Southern El Paso County at a good 30 to 35 miles per hour around Fountain and Fort Carson. As we move through the overnight time frame, Winds are a little bit lighter, but notice as we get into Thursday afternoon, another round of some 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts possible across the eastern plains and a west wind. So that west wind will help to dry us out even more. We already have dry fuels in the region, but you can make it even drier uh, with the actual air quality or the air around uh, those dry fuels when you have those west winds down sloping uh, across the mountains and coming down off the mountains that really uh, decreases the relative humidity uh, substantially. Uh, notice though as we move through the evening time frame no snow showers expected. We will have another nice little burst of snow tonight and early tomorrow morning across the central mountains. That is about it though. We'll have a mix of setting clouds for tomorrow with temperatures in the 40s for parts of Woodland Park, 51 in Monument, 59 in Colorado Springs, so a little bit closer to seasonal for central El Paso County for tomorrow with highs in the 50s to near 60 degrees. And those west winds will warm us up as well across the eastern plains as we climb into the 60s. Some areas near 70 degrees. Easter weekend is upon us and it looks very nice and warm. We are going to be a bit breezy though on Sunday. Winds will start to kick back up about 30 mile per hour gust as we approach the holiday weekends. It does look a bit calmer on Friday and Saturday, but another round of some high fire danger will be possible for Easter Sunday. Now, if you're venturing out and about for sunrise service, probably won't be a huge deal in the morning, but the afternoon hours uh, will likely give us some gusty winds uh, on Easter Sunday. So, you know, means you have to load your Easter basket up with more candy, as Bart said earlier. I know. Yeah, you get.